Hi. Now our lesson today is about polynomials. Now first, how to name the polynomial. To, to find the name of a polynomial, it depends on its terms. You know what the term is from the previous lesson. If you don't remember, go and link it to the lesson which I will explain. Now, if the term, first before we start the lesson, if the term, if in terms of the power, negative power, it is not a polynomial. So if it is, it means 5x five, five to the power of negative 2, which means 5 over x to the power 2, this is done considered as polynomial, cancel it. Now, let's go to, if we have one term, if the expression is in one term, it can be 3, that is one term, sometimes it can be 3x, this is another term, sometimes it can be, let's say 7x squared, why? This is also one term. So this term, if it has one, like if you read this one, so we say monomial. Mono. Mono means one. Monomial means it's a polynomial of one term. Example, 3xyz squared. So like this, this is one term. Now, if you have two terms, let's say 3x plus 2, this is a one term, and another term, two terms we call it binomial. Binomial. Like example, you give another example, 3xy plus 2z. This is two terms. We don't go to the power. Now, if we have it in three terms, 3x squared plus 2x plus 3, so this is one term, this is second term, third term, we call it tri -nomia. like what we did here. So, if it is more than three terms, we can call it after that, it's a polynomial. So all of these are polynomials, except this one, and if it is a one term, we call it monomial, two terms, binomial, three terms, trinomial, more, it's a polynomial. Now let's go to the degree of the polynomial. Again. Now, we knew how to find the name of a polynomial. Now, if you want to find the degree of a polynomial, how to find the degree of the polynomial, you have to look to the exponents of that expression. Now, we have two types. You have to know that we have two types of expressions. First type is if the expression is of similar variables. So, if other variables of the expression is made of one type of variable like 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 so this expression the name of this is trinomial and this expression is made of one type of variable which is x nothing else so look to the highest power of that variable so the highest power of x is here 2 so the degree will be We say second degree or degree or degree two. You can say degree two or second degree. Now we will continue explaining as long as the expressions are of the same variable. When we finish, we'll go to the second type of expression when the variables are different. X, Y, and Z. We can know the power of this in the last. Uh, uh, explanation. Now, okay. okay, let's go to the next one. Now, if uh, an expression is a number only, only a number like 5, 
then the degree is zero. We say the degree is zero, and the name of that uh, degree is constant. So, if any number, what is the degree of that expression? Is only number. We call it zero degree constant. Now, if we have the expression is made of only one variable, like x or 2x whatsoever the power here you know when there is nothing on the top, power of x it means it's one so we call it degree one first degree or degree one degree is one and the name is linear linear so if it is a number we call it constant zero degree and if it is one variable with power one we call it linear first degree. Let's go more for deeper. Three, two, one. Now we are still in the expression of same similar variables. If we have an expression like 3x squared plus 2x, it's the same, same, still the same variable. We look to the highest power here. What is this? Uh, it is second. So the degree is sec 2 or second degree, and the name will be quadratic. Quadratic expression or quadratic polynomial. Uh, quadratic. Now, if we have like 4x cube plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. Look, still it's the same similar variables, but the power is 3 here, so the degree will be here 3, and you call it cubic. So if we have more power, let's say uh, 6x to the power 4 plus 3x squared plus 2. So what is the highest power? It's 4, so the degree would be 4. And it will be called quartic. You have to remember something that here we are dealing still with the same variables. Uh, if we have here higher power, let's say 5, let's say 7x to the power 5 plus 3x squared plus 2, what is the highest power is 5 and the name would be quintic. So According to the degree of similar variables, it's easy now. Number is a, if it is a number, the, power, the degree is zero, constant. If it is power one, we call it linear, degree is one. And by degree two, it would be x squared. Degree three would be cube. Degree four would be power four and five power five. And these are the names. Quadratic, cubic, quartic, quintic. I hope Please memorize the names and make it as and I made it easy as possible for you. Let's go now with different variables. We look to the second part of the lesson if the expression is of different variables. Like this one, you have three x squared y to cube z. So you have different variables. Here, five x cube y z over three x cube y z cube plus two x y squared z. Now if they are same variables, similar, so it's e it was easy for you. But if they are different, how to solve this and to find the degree? Take each term alone. Let's take this term and find the power without using the coefficient. Now, this will be 2 plus 3, and this is 1 here. So 2 plus 3 plus 1 is, this is 5. The degree of this is the total is 5. How about this term? So without looking to the coefficient, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 3 is 7. Here, without looking to the coefficient, 1 plus 2, 3 plus 1 is 4. So who is the highest? This would be 7 degree. I 
I hope I made it easy for you if you have different variants. Let's go to the last part of the lesson. So let's take the first term, this one. 3x squared y cubed z to the power of Don't look at the coefficient, don't consider the coefficient of that term. Just look at the power of the variables. It is 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So this will be the total power of this without the coefficient is 6. Look to the second term without looking to the coefficient. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. Look to the third term without looking to the coefficient is 1 plus 2, 3 plus 1 is 4. So who is the highest? So this would be the 7th degree. This polynomial would be of the 7th degree and trinomial. Thank you very much. Try again. Suppose a polynomial is given to you in this form and he's asking what is the name of that polynomial. So just count the terms. 1, 2, 3, 4. Because it's made of 4 terms, we call it quartic. Now, if you ask what is the degree, be careful here. This normally we call a standard form because it is in, in descending order the power. Look at the power. It's 3, the next is 2, the next is 1, and then constant. So this is in descending order. If it is not organized, you have to organize it in descending order. Then you can decide the names and everything. So you have to organize it in descending order. Here it is already organized. So what will be the degree? The degree of the highest, because this is the same variable, is the third degree. Now, if we ask you a question, what is the leading coefficient? Leading is very easy. Once you organize it in descending order, look to the highest power, which is here, 3. What would be the coefficient? The leading coefficient would be 4. I hope the whole lesson of polynomial will make it easy for you. Thank you very much.